What's up folks, it's your buddy Fatal Roadie. Tonight we're going to be doing the Smackdown review. We started off tonight with a recap of the AJ Styles Kevin Owens match last week. Then we have AJ Styles coming out to the ring, tells the crowd Happy New Year, and he cuts a promo about the Royal Rumble and tonight's match against Sami Zayn. And then he calls Daniel Bryan out. Both Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon come out. Shane McMahon starts off by apologizing to AJ Styles for his involvement in his loss against Kevin Owens last week. And then he calls out Daniel Bryan for having favoritism against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So this all boils down to Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, and Shane McMahon being at ringside for the Sami Zayn-AJ Styles match later on tonight. Which brings us to our first match, the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin for the tag team titles. This match started off with a flurry between all four people, ending in Chad Gable getting a two count. Shelton Benjamin and Jey Uso tag in. Jimmy knocks Benjamin out of the ring and does a dive on him. After a ton of confusion, Jimmy Uso gets put up in the Doomsday device and Chad Gable gets the pin. So at first we start off having new tag team champions, only come to find out that neither one of the two were legal men in the ring, that it was Jay and Shelton Benjamin as legal people in the ring. The match restarted. After a very quick bit of back and forth between everybody, Shelton Benjamin ate a couple of super kicks and the Usos get the pin and remain champions. This is a rather confusing match. It was a good match. I liked it. But with everything that was going on, unless you had a road map, you were almost lost in half of it. We then had the rematch of Brazongo and the Bludgeon Brothers. As you guessed it, this was basically a squash match. Before the bell even rang, the Bludgeon Brothers started hammering on Brazongo. Then the Ascension come out, tried to beat down the Bludgeon Brothers, but they got leveled as well. This is a no contest match, which leaves me wondering where all this is going. We then have Aiden English versus Xavier Woods in the United States Champion Tournament. This was actually a pretty good match. Both English and Woods took it to each other right off at the beginning of the match. There were a whole bunch of near falls between the two of them. Got the elbow drop on Aiden English for the pin. So Xavier Woods is going to be facing Jinder Mahal, and Bobby Roode will be facing either Mojo Raleigh or Zack Ryder when that match comes about. I think that's going to be next week. And then the winner of those two matches will be facing each other at the Royal Rumble to be the new United States Champion. We then have a six-woman tag team match. Carmella, Tamina, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad. Dude. We haven't seen this match before. This was an eh match. It really wasn't much getting into it. It ended off with Liv Morgan pushing Tamina off the top rope, allowing Sarah Logan to get the pin. The Riot Squad won. After the match, Ruby Riot cut a promo running down the crowd. And then Charlotte Flair came out in response to Ruby Riot and says she was going to introduce some people for payback which is Naomi, which is kind of weird because she's already been back, and Becky Lynch. The three rush the ring, beat up the Riot Squad, and stand tall in the ring as the Riot Squad runs up the ramp. Essentially, this whole match was just a lead-in to bring back Becky Lynch to TV. Like I said, the match was eh. I really wasn't impressed with it. We then have our main event, AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn, with Daniel Bryan, Shane McMahon, and Kevin Owens at ringside. Right as soon as the bell rang, AJ Styles started beating down on Sami Zayn. The fight then goes outside, where Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan get involved, trying to separate everybody. After the break, Sami Zayn is in control, but AJ Styles fires up and levels Sami Zayn. AJ sets up Sami Zayn for the Styles Clash, but Sami Zayn counters it into a blue thunderbomb. He then sets up AJ Styles for the Haluva Kick, but AJ Styles counters that into the Calf Crusher. Sami Zayn was able to get hold of the rope to break the hold. Shortly after, the referee is knocked out of the ring right next to Kevin Owens. As he's getting up, AJ Styles rolls up Sami Zayn for the pin. As the referee is trying to get back into the ring, Kevin Owens is delaying him, making him miss the three count. Shane McMahon gets involved and gets Kevin Owens ejected. Then Daniel Bryan says, while Kevin Owens is leaving, why don't you, Shane McMahon, leave as well? What? Through all of the distraction, Sami Zayn hits AJ Styles with the Huluva kick and gets the pin. While Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are going up the ramp celebrating, AJ Styles gets on the mic and says that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn can't do anything on their own and that he wishes that Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon would stop bickering like kids. He might as well face Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in a handicap match just to avoid one of them running in on each other. Daniel Bryan takes him seriously on that and sets up a handicap match for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble. Bryan gets up on the announcer's table and gets the yes chant from the crowd. AJ Styles looks rather pissed about this, and so ends tonight's SmackDown. This was a rather odd SmackDown. I wasn't really too crazy about it. Out of the five matches we had tonight, we had one no contest, one that was kind of eh, which was the women's match. But the other three matches, the tag match, the U.S. title match, and AJ Styles and Sami Zayn were pretty good. 
So it was kind of average, you know, middle of the road. I would actually say this week Raw beat out SmackDown for which show is better, but that was only by a very small margin. I'm curious to see how many more times we're going to be seeing the same six women tag match or seeing all the women get put on on one shot just to get everybody on the show or Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. This whole thing with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan is getting rather old. A couple of people on Twitter have also voiced the same concern. This is kind of getting old very quickly. The whole writing on this one is off the wall. That'll do it for the SmackDown review. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's SmackDown or what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, it's too loud, you're too old. Say it. Yeah. <laughs>